flour that's been seasoned with salt, pepper and some lemongrass powder. You can use whatever seasonings you like but I try to keep it simple because I don't want the seasoning to overpower the flavour of the fish. Because at the end we're going to put some relish on the top and you really want to taste both of those things. So I'm going to give the flour a quick mix just to make sure that all of the seasoning is throughout the flour. So I've got some fresh tuna here that I've cut into slices which are about half an inch thick. I'm now actually going to coat it in the flour. Coat it really lightly in the flour just so that it's covered all over. Dust off the excess and then put it to one side. And just continue doing that until you've coated all of the tuna. So we're gonna crush some garlic. You can, if you want to, use um, already bought garlic, but I prefer this because it's got a better flavor. And I'm also gonna use my pestle and mortar because I really do like to use this when I'm making relishes and pastes. It really brings the flavour out much better. So now I'm going to chop up some dill and some coriander. Chop it up quite fine. Okay, so add the green to the bowl. And then next we're going to squeeze in the juice of half of a lime. Then once we've done that, we're going to pour in some olive oil and then give it a good mix. be a good time to taste it to see whether or not it needs any more seasoning now that is really good it's zesty and it's really fresh as well so give it one final stir before i put it in the fridge while i cook We're the tuna. fry the tuna in some hot oil on either side for about three minutes in total okay turn it over after about a minute and a half Okay, as you can see, it's slightly golden. And that's really what we're looking for. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it out and just leave it to rest on some greaseproof paper. It's just the last batch. So I didn't mention before why we're only gonna cook it for three minutes, but the reason why we do that is because tuna tends to get really quite hard when you cook it for too long. So if we do it for about three minutes, it's still slightly pink and still really moist. So to finish off the relish, we're going to add some mango, which has been chopped into some small chunks here. And I'm also going to add a little amount of fresh chilli. You might want to add some more mango, which I am actually going to do. Okay, give it a final stir. It's ready. Right, so I'm going to dish this up now. And I'm simply going to put it on the plate in the middle. Trying to be a little bit fancy. i trying to make it overlap. See how we go. So now I'm going to pour the relish over the top. You can add as much or as little as you want, but it really is nice, so be generous with it. That extra bit special, I'm going to sprinkle some coriander around the edges. Yeah. 
So this is really lovely party food. I hope that you're gonna do it too. Hey, hey, hey.